with quick hits uh quick hits comes at you twice a day every day um some really good heavyweight boxing today to get into um the first fight the uh parker uh Shizura fight was a fun fight uh and then uh, ruiz and ariel was a really fun fight and that's the one we're going to spend uh today's uh today's show on is going to be completely dedicated to uh ruiz versus uh ariola which was a fun fight before we get into that before we get into that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. 3D Boxing, uh, 3D Boxing Blog comes at you twice a day, every day. Um, eight to ten minutes just to keep up to the latest uh, on all boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like and subscri subscribe to 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Hit the bell icon, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Let's get into today's show. Uh, Andy Ruiz. Um... Struggled a little early um, in, in, in a good fight. It was really high-level boxing. Really, really, really high-level boxing. Heavyweight boxing, I thought. Um, Ariola came to fight. Ruiz got knocked down in the second. Almost got knocked down again in the third. Was hurt a couple times in the third. Somehow he won the third on two of the three scorecards. He won the round. I'm not exactly sure how that is. I, I wasn't outraged by the scoring. I guess we get into that. I, I'll get into that now. I, I had... 116-111 for Ruiz. 116-111, um, 117-10 is where the scorecards were at. I, I think there were four rounds. Um, you could argue Areola won. Um, I scored three of them. Um, I, I think the fight was not that difficult to score, maybe one or two swing rounds. You know, I, I thought the first, um, Areola uh, Ruiz won. The second, 10-8, Ariola. Third, Ariola. Um, you know, the fourth, Ruiz. The fifth was a toss-up round. And then I think the 10th, the 10th or the 11th? The 11th? The 10th or the 11th? And there was one round later in the fight that I thought was a toss-up round. I think it was the 11th. Um, and then uh, I thought Ruiz won the rest of the rounds clearly. So... 117, 111, it was as wide as you could have it. And then you, you could have it 115, 112, I guess. 117, 110, 115. Yeah. I mean, those are, that, that's the round of scorecards. The 118, 109 did seem a little off. Um, but I like to see Ariel again. I thought Ariel, I thought he jabbed really well. Um, I, I, I think when he made Ruiz, and there's ways to make Ruiz come forward. I, I don't think that's Ruiz's comfort zone. I, I think Ruiz struggled um, when he had to be the aggressor. I don't think that's his style. I don't think that's something that he likes to do. Um, you know, I, I, I think that's why. And I, I, I thought he beat Parker back in the day, but I think that's why the fight was so close was because Parker uh, would not play the aggressor and, and Ruiz had to. I think if you can do that, um, you can get to him. He can be hit. If you exchange with them, if you stand in front and you and you exchange with him and you let him counter, he's so quick and so good that way. He's going to be a handful, and Ruiz is going to be a handful. I I really think, outside of Fury, he can beat anyone in this division. I really do. His power is good. His stamina is good. His work rate was good today. Uh, like I said, he's really good in exchanges. Um, the only thing he doesn't like to come forward. It, that's not his, not that it's like it's not a strong suit. He can be had if he's coming forward, which would make a wilder fight um, so interesting. But all in all, I, I thought it was an excellent performance uh, from both fighters. Um, first for Ruiz, I think he reestablishes himself. Uh, Ruiz is as advertised. Um, you know, I was hoping he would get Ariel out. I picked him to get Ariel out in the mid rounds. That didn't happen. Not even close. Um, but Ruiz landed plenty of good shots. Ariel stood up to him. Um, it was a, it was a good performance from Ruiz. 
Um, I, I think he showed off his quickness, his skills. Um, I, I, I think, you know, after that second and third round, going into the fourth round, fifth round, and then seven, eight, nine, I really think that Ruiz dominated the fight. I really think that Ruiz was in control and, and a master craftsman, and uh, he won wide. You know, again, the fight was close and competitive, and Ariola was in a lot of rounds. Um, but he wasn't winning the rounds. And I, I know he's going to think the scorecards were way off and he got robbed. I, I, I think the scorecards were a little wide. I think the scorecards were a little wide. I don't think they were outrageous. Um, I, I think that you had to give him the second and the third. Uh, we can do a show if you want uh, on how bad Dr. Lou Moret and Pat Russell are as judges. They are not good. They traditionally have bad cards. Um, I may do a show on that. That sounds like an interesting topic to discuss. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, and as far as Ariola, I want to see him again. I want to see him again. Um, I think he's a good gatekeeper. Um, I'd like to see some of these young fighters, you know, stepped up and, 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 and Ariola fight those guys. Um, because if you're not on point, Ariola, I, I, I like the Ariola and, and Goose in marriage. I think that's, I think that's working right. Um, and then as far as Ariola's outburst, look, it's funny when he goes off. This was a little over the top. He's doing the interview with Heidi Andrel. It's a lady. I mean, there's no reason to start talking like that. What if that was your daughter? And this is why we are tired of people from California moving to Texas. It's just, we, we don't talk like that, right? Like, you don't hear Brandon Figueroa or Virgil Ortiz or Errol Spence or whoever else talk like that during an interview in front of a lady. It's just, that was highly ridiculous. Um, just, when it's funny, but like not not to a lady, like have a little class, have have a little, have a little class. Um, it was just an outburst that I thought was unnecessary. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, I I I, I still think Ruiz is perfectly legitimate. I think Ruiz is going to be trouble for anyone in the heavyweight division. I'd probably pick him to beat anyone in the heavyweight division. I think a wild if I would be a really fun. It's a uh, clash of styles. I don't know where Ruiz goes next from here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game with the heavyweight division logic jam. I would like to see Wilder. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I would love to see that fight. And I know they were talking about a rematch with Ariola, which is okay. Um, that's not what I really want for either guy. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Also, leave your scorecard. Leave your card in the uh, in, in the comment section. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you twice a day, every day. Uh, eight to ten minutes just to keep you up to up on the latest uh, boxing news and rumors. Uh, please like, subscribe, share in all forms. Hit the thumbs up uh, icon. Um, hit the thumbs up, the, the bell, smash the bell, share it. All, you guys know what to do. Um, it is May 1st. It is May Day. Uh, please. Uh, and Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. It is May 1st, 2021. I, Ivan Calderon somehow is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.